welcome to our channel. This is our very first video and Ellie and I decided that 2020 is all about having fun, laughing at ourselves, and just enjoying random moments. So we decided to start a YouTube channel and bring you along with us. And so this is our first video for you and we're just going to introduce ourselves and this one will be like a little different, but we just kind of like want to have fun with it and just be funny and bring you along on our journey. Um, Jenna's family was in town this last weekend, so they helped us prep for this first video. We didn't want it to look robotic and just be like, this is what I do for work. <laughs> well, well. So they wrote us some questions and we're going to pick them out of our bag and then answer the questions based on what they wrote for us versus us coming up with it by ourselves. Yes. So, okay. First question. You can read it. Okay. First question. Tell us about the camp food when you were little. <laughs> I'm assuming this is your sister's question. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, backstory. We grew up together in Illinois. And um, we went, our parents sent us to this camp when we were little for the summertime. And Shout out to Alpine Park. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Really shaped us. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're so, still scarred. No, seriously, this was quite the camp that our parents sent us to. So it was literally in the middle of a park in City Rockford. And we were, I don't know, five, six, like yeah, young, young kids. kids. <laughs> and we, they would take us and in the middle of the woods, literally, I in the middle of the woods like there is nothing <laughs> to be seen but woods and they'd sit us down on these nasty rotting logs and they'd <laughs> make food in pans that had crusted black stuff on the bottom and then we would eat it yeah and we thought it was probably cool then but honestly <laughs> we're lucky we didn't get any sort of disease because i do not think that those pans were i remember seeing the black crust in them but yeah don't <laughs> and so. it really was in the middle of nowhere because we tried to go back to this park a couple weeks ago when we were in Rockford and like had a hard time finding <laughs> yeah, it. We could not, I don't even know where the woods were because even when we were there, we didn't even really <laughs> see, see the woods. woods. So we were like, yeah. Yes. But this was like probably like 15 years ago. So. I actually got my nickname from, that's like stuck from this, like when we were that small till now. Her mom still calls me it, L Train. Yeah. That's how that happened. So if you ever hear that mentioned, that's the backstory. Yep. That nasty little camp. <laughs> okay, next question. When did you guys first meet? Um, so, we've literally known each other our whole entire yeah, lives. I honestly don't know. I don't really remember the story of how our, was it they parenting met, class? They met like at a parenting class at the yeah. YMCA, I'm pretty sure. And um, yeah, we just, they kicked it off and then they forced us to be friends. And then, yeah, just. We had some other really close friends too that were in our little friend group that we still see we still get together make sure we get together every year for christmas yes so, even though we're all all over the place at this point yeah definitely next okay how did you both end up living in omaha <gasps> that is a good question good question who asked that um we had no intention for that didn't happen on purpose just yeah. like life came full circle because we moved to all of us moved from rockford I moved to Iowa. In 2008, yeah. all of us moved. I moved to Iowa, and she moved down more southern Illinois in Springfield. Yes. Yeah. So we've been a, we literally haven't lived by each other for ten years. Ten years now, except yeah. for like this last year. And my husband is stationed, got stationed in Offutt, which is the Omaha base. And they happen to be here because she... I'm going to school here at Creighton to get my doctorate in occupational therapy. So, yeah. it And um, when Caleb got stationed here, she, like, texted me and was like, um, he's going to be here. Like, would it be weird if we moved to your apartment <laughs> complex? And I'm like, no, please move here. Like, I need friends. Yeah. So, we literally are, like, within walking distance, but... I drive, she walks sometimes yes. to our places, and now we probably see each other at least every other day. Yeah, at least, at least. Yeah, and it's this is like our dream out. growing up as kids. Yes, and it's we would, when we this come is to like I is doubt right this word? is a question. Yes, but I think that this that's kind of reminded me when we were little. There were times that we would 
literally sneak each other in the trunks and then didn't tell our parents until we got back to the house. Like, yes. I vividly remember a time Kate, Jenna got in our <laughs> trunk and we got all the way back to her house, which is not very close to her house in Rockford. And she pops up and, and I was like, Oh, but it worked. I'm pretty yeah. sure we got the sleepover that we were wanting. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, next question. What is your worst life experience? That was our dog. Yeah. We also have um, brother dogs. So. Yeah, we do. We'll uh, make an yeah. Um, worst life experience? That's a really deep question. I feel like that could be its own YouTube video. Worst life experience? I can go first. Okay. Yeah, um, when I was a freshman in high school, I got in a car accident that, like, really is a long story, but um, definitely changed my life and um, ended up having to drop out of school for a little bit, which is hard when you're a freshman, and uh, go to therapy up in Chicago. My mom would drive me up there, and I would do therapy three days a week, and then come back, and I would go to school, basically just, like, the social components the other two days, and, um, definitely drove me toward my career path, which is what I'm doing now for occupational therapy, but, yeah, that's kind of, like, the long and short of that. Yeah. It was very shaping. Yeah. I have stories on that, too, for when we came up here. <laughs> um, but, gosh, I don't know. I have a couple, like, car accident. I feel like that was like I guess yeah scary. probably one of my most I have a couple really big ones that I would say really shaped me as an individual I had one when I was a freshman also and then my most recent that I would say that is most that weighs on me more now mm -hmm. was I was in a 60 car pile up on the interstate um about two years ago in February it'll be two years and now I am terrified of the winter driving it scares me so bad and we live in the midwest so it snows and yeah so there's like i have tears rolling down my eyes i've had multiple days of like last winter where my dad would have to pick me up off the side of the road because i couldn't get there <laughs> yeah. so that is something that i would say right now like working through that is one of my biggest worst life experiences yeah. it was very scary yeah definitely okay next okay. question Make it be lighthearted. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what is the worst thing you did as a child? Ellie and I used to try to kill the babysitter. <laughs> we hated being babysat. And especially because Ellie has a little, two, we both have sisters, but her middle sister, Annie, the babysitters always loved Annie. Yeah, okay, let's she just was be honest. Us. She really was. She I was picture. probably she sweeter cute. and nicer. Still <laughs> is. But, yeah, so one time we tried to make her fall down the stairs <laughs> by spraying the banister with perfume. <laughs> like it was going to make her slip and, and she would fall. tumble to her And I'm pretty sure the stairs were carpeted. They were carpeted, which is, we. and I remember us being like, brilliant this brilliant so <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna spray the stairs she's gonna fall she'll be out of here in this no time so <laughs> like it's going to take us no time at all and then we get to the stairs we're like oh right they're carpet so then one of us are like it's fine <laughs> we'll spray the railing who uses the railing honestly yeah. so it was obviously not we never work. claimed to be geniuses no yeah but we really did think we were at the and moment. that we were still young at that point like yeah also young we're not eight. psychopaths no yeah, like we never do that now like <laughs> i kind of feel bad admitting that but whatever um another one which all of our family members and friends already know the story because it's just too good to be honest oh we, god <laughs> <laughs> we back to us being mean kids i don't know we're not mean people. it must have been the camp they yes. just like instilled it, something yes. in us i don't know we were a little scarred <laughs> we were we were turning to ptsd like you know it was just happening um i had a birthday party and my and, like, and it was a sleepover party yeah, you know sleepover. the bir kind of best kind of birthday parties when you're young i can't remember how many people were there honestly i really don't i Maybe. just remember like i think there was like six of us yeah but John and I being the inseparable two out of the group, we found this little Polly Pocket potty that had Toy. Like, yeah, like it's and like, if you don't know what Polly Pockets are, they're like this big of like tiny. dolls. So but like this the, toilet also was a pretty big toilet. Yeah, it was. Pocket. It was. And also Ellie's room was lofted like at the top. 
like yeah. on the top floor, which obviously that's what a loft is. And it was also like the playroom. Yes. So she had like all the fun toys and yes. everything. So, and we were behind, like the bed, like there was bet space between the bed and the wall. So yeah. we were like hiding behind the and bed. And I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to be up at this time. No, I'm pretty sure everyone else was Sleep. laying down being the right <laughs> kind of children. Um, but we found this little ducky potty and I don't know what, like what we were doing or how it came up. We're like, let's try to pee in it. Let's yeah. pee in it. Yeah. So Jenna did I pee peed in, in it. this potty. And then at like seven years old. And then I handed it to Ellie and I was like, what do we do with it? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know either. But then we had. I don't really know how to say this about sounding like me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound so awful. Basically, long story short, we dumped it on one of the little girl's heads. Uh, <laughs> we dumped and Jenna's she... real urine on their heads. <laughs> and then after we did it, we immediately were like, "That we're so sorry that wasn't real yeah. pee. Well, like, we tried to backtrack. That was water. That was water. And it really wasn't. <laughs> no. And Ellie's mom came stomping upstairs. We had to separate all of us. Yeah. I had to go to the pull-out couch with, like, the girl that got peed on. And <laughs> it was just really bad. Like, a very low point for us. Yeah. But funny. Yeah. But it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> we also wouldn't do that now. Obviously, yes. Yeah. Okay, next thing. What your favorite hobby? I would say for me right now, um... I actually really like to work out. That's like probably a newer hobby that's come about like the last like two years of my life. And like trying different workouts when I'm feeling motivated. I also really like to read, but reading is bad for me because once I start a book, I can like not put it down and wake up in the middle of the night, read it, take a little nap, <laughs> and I just can't stop. And that's not good for me during school. So I'm trying to like bring it real down. book intake. Yeah. Um, what's my favorite hobby? I do not like to work out. Anyone that knows me <laughs> knows that, that is not me. She's been trying really hard to get me to work out. Yeah. And maybe it'll turn around. I am feeling like I need to start doing something. So I need to find something that I like. But my favorite hobby, I don't really know now that I've moved, honestly. I really like shows. I know that's such like a poor hobby, but I really do love TV shows. I'm a huge Bachelor fan, yes. which starts tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> and we did our little draft thing, so we're yeah. going to see how that goes. I love Grey's Anatomy. It's like my favorite show of all the shows. America's Next Top Model. I love, I love <laughs> reality TV. <laughs> reality TV, America's Next Top Model, Survivor. She like, is really good at like, keeping up to date with all the things, yeah. too. I like to listen to podcasts over these things. Like I like to know what's going on. Survivor starts in February, and it's going to be a really good season, so <laughs> check it out. Stay in the loop. Maybe we'll do some show talking. Yes. Um, yeah. A Million Little Things, but you know, I just really like that stuff. I don't know. It's yeah. a release at the end of a long day for me, I guess. Yeah. I feel like that's very relatable. Next. Last one. Two. What's that one? No. Go ahead. Okay. What was your favorite childhood movie? Okay. Well, we love Disney, both of us. Mm -hmm. We just love Disney. I booked... My we, Disney, we just booked a Disney Yes, trip. we're going to Disney in September. Vlogs um, coming. Yes. But um, <laughs> when we were little... We used to always watch two movies. Do you know what they are? 13 Going on 30? Yes. Charlie's Angels. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to act them out. But 13, 30, 13 Going on 30, if you're familiar with that movie, Brenda, her mom, used to always make us cover the screen. <laughs> because we weren't really, like, that old yet. No, we weren't and 13. When, when he comes on, he's, like, stripping, and he's like, I see. I see. Yeah. And she's my like, mom would the be like, no, watch it. Turn your head. Like, she would literally come out from whatever she was doing, or doing whatever she's doing in the kitchen or her office, and hold up a blanket over the screen so we couldn't see it. Not that we didn't know it was going underneath. Yeah. You could, like, kind Here of know it. what I mean. Yeah. Lawton, this is Lawton. Lawton, come on. Get my in husband. Here. And this is Caleb. My, my husband. second husband. Yep. <laughs> okay, and this is the question. You guys have to answer it. Lawton, you're still not in Describe it. Describe the first time you farted in front of your spouse. You have to answer when's the first time you heard me fart. Do you remember it? I have no idea. Do you know? No, I can't think of one. I have no idea. I just said that I don't fart very much, and so you literally said to me, like, last week, 
I can't believe you just farted. But <laughs> I did. The funny thing is, is Jenna just said you don't fart very much, but lately she has. Been. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're not audible. They're like but silent, they're but deadly. Stinky. But I normally own up. Like she does. If I like, fart, I say I farted. We were in the car and she farted. And she just slowly rolled up. And I'm very polite. No. <laughs> I rolled down the window for everybody. Like okay. come on. Kayla, how this are is you? Also, this is Maverick. Come this is my dude a boy. I'm doing it. Come here. Time I heard you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, specifically remember. He would specifically. Remember. <laughs> Still in high school. I don't know. Probably like for one of the first two years of us dating. Two years though. Listen to that. Um, oh yeah. We were in your old house in the basement, and it really wasn't like <laughs> a noise that you would think would be a fart. But. <laughs> I was like, wait, did you fart? And you just kind of like laugh a little bit. That was about it. But awesome. what did you just say about me the other day? Do you like feel uncomfortable about farting and pooping? But but what what what's the weird part on it? And now you're putting it on YouTube. Well, that, but what, what is the other weird part? I don't know. He said he's like you will talk about literally anything. Oh. But you're but very as soon as it comes to farting and pooping, you go dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. I'd rather I'll burp. Yeah. I just did before this video started. She did, and it smelled <laughs> Which bad. Isn't bad. Which is a little yeah. bit more uncommon. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in. Do you yes. want anything else you have to say? Welcome to our lives. <laughs> well, thank you for. Tuning into our video, we're gonna try to post videos every Thursday, and we're gonna start each video by um, sh just like saying the funniest funny story that happened to us this week. And so the one that happened this week, we actually caught on video. Fun fact: we actually have recorded two other videos for our channel because we weren't really on the same page at no, first, we but not. Yeah, but now we are, and so we're gonna. I'm gonna post a clip from that in, and you will understand why it's just totally it's so, who we are. Yeah. So stay tuned for the end of that, but. So now is a pretty good kind of idea of what it's gonna be like for us, but we wanna do things a little bit more interactive too. We'll do some fun drunken makeup tutorials, blindfolded, let the guys try it out. Um, you've met our doodles and our husband, so they will make more of an appearance. We're gonna try to do some adventure type ones. We yeah. are gonna try to film our Disney trip, yes. put together a montage, because that's gonna be really fun and all sorts of other things that we've got going on. Yeah. So. Our goal is to make you laugh at least one time during this video or make ourselves laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, subscribe, and hit the go. post notification follow bell. Us, follow us on Instagram and stay tuned for a video every Thursday. Peace out. I am absolutely obsessed with is this laminator. It seems... <laughs> two for gifts. Okay, so you should say that. Yeah, okay. But I'm not gonna say I never used it. Well, just say that you've bought it for gifts and okay. your mom has it. Okay.